So, People Magazine have come out with an exclusive in regards... Wait, let me just show you this beautiful art piece in the corner. Wow. Um, they've come out with an exclusive in regards to Harry and William. Please do subscribe to the channel because I'm recording this, guys, for you at 3 in the morning. I am a night owl. Always have been. Shout out to anybody who's a night owl because sometimes it can be really annoying. Absolutely loving bottled sparkling water recently. I have completely replaced any fizzy drinks, Coke, Diet Coke, whatever, with just sparkling water. Love that. Let's get into this, where, you know, this um, is coming out soon. Sources tell people in this week's exclusive cover story that whilst calls and letters to his father, King Charles, go unanswered, Harry's attempts to connect with his brother, Prince William, through texts, calls and messages are also ignored. The rift with Prince William is very bad, says a royal insider who's speaking out, but it's not irreparable. William and Harry last presented a united front when Queen Elizabeth passed away. The Duke of Sussex wanted to discuss his ongoing battle with security and with the fact that he doesn't have any. Despite a positive meeting between the father and son in February following King Charles' cancer diagnosis, he gets unavailable right now, a friend of Harry says. His calls go unanswered. He has tried to reach out about the king's health, but those calls also go unanswered as well. Amid the distance, the Duke of Sussex remains deeply concerned for the safety of his wife, children, and according to sources, has repeatedly asked his father for help and Charles is ignored. Harry is frightened and feels the only person who can do anything about it is his father, adds another source, close, very close to the situation. Harry is determined to protect his own family at all costs. Exactly what is stopping Harry from securing the protection, he seems, is a matter of bitter contention. Constituently, the sovereign has no government power, um, governmental power in the UK, and the power to bestow police protection lies with the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, RAVEC, which operates on behalf of the UK government. But Harry, whose offer to personally cover the cost of police protection was also rejected in court, feels that as King Charles could intervene to ensure such protection is extended. I do wonder why it was re rejected, guys. I really don't understand. With both sides firmly entrenched and Harry's brother, William, seemingly aligned with their father, any hope for reconciliation appears distant at best. Some close to the palace suggest that Harry's memoir spare and public interviews have compromised the family's trust in him. Others close to the Duke of Sussex counter that if he had proper security, he wouldn't need to speak publicly in order to help pay for it. If the matter of security is resolved, says the friend, if it swords down and nothing would give Harry more happiness than being able to rekindle his bond with his father. I mean, I do believe that security should be something that, you know, one should be able to have especially in the days of diana with what took place i'm sure that he's afraid of everything that takes place why was his security rejected and why is his father not answering the cause but again with william the royal inside palace sources are stating that it's you know not irreparable that they can't they can come back together again do we see a life with these two brothers come back together again i honestly don't know guys and with william being king soon it's going to be an absolute mess um of a situation especially with harry and william but i can see why they would feel like harry's interviews and being spared and speaking publicly has you know put him in a place where they can't trust him i can see that but why is he coming forward why is he speaking up why is he raising these concerns? To protect his wife, who's been thrown into the UK press 24-7, and also his own safety. If you give him his safety, which he's entitled to as a son of Charles and Diana, which I'm sure the Queen Elizabeth would absolutely want as well, then everything would be fine. Why is William entitled to safety, but Harry is not? It doesn't make any sense. But this exclusive from People magazine came out today five hours ago from Royal Palace Inside Sources discussing how it's been very bad between William and Harry. And I'm not surprised that William is not answering calls, texts, and leaving everything and ignoring him because that's that's what he's always done as an older brother not really be there for harry to be honest with you and you would have thought that he would have considering that they both lost their mother not just william or not just harry they both did and diana hearing all of this would just be very sad if she was here today to the fact that her sons are not talking when the parents pass away when the, especially the mother siblings do tend to distance and it's just very sad to see the state of affairs and what is going on but hopefully they can get back together in some kind of way but with the damage that william has caused behind the scenes his hands are clean but behind the scenes and the stuff that he's been selling to press when that comes clean from him and when he apologizes to Harry about that, then we all can have a discussion. I'm saying we, like we all need to be at the table. We don't, I'm being dramatic, but then we can all come to the table and discuss because you know we all know Harry's the good one out of these two. Subscribe or comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. People always wanna be angry at those who speak out about stuff, but not the ones that are causing it. Let's get to the root of the story, not the stem or the leaf, the root. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.